Hello, hello. Welcome to episode 61 of the Let's Talk Thyroid podcast. My name is Annabelle Bateman and I am your host. And today we are talking about my new book that is just about to hit letterboxes around the country uh, in the next week or two. And I wanted to give you an introduction to the book, a little bit about why I wrote it. And uh, and I'm going to actually read chapter one. I'm going to put on my audiobook hat. Um, at the moment, this book is not available on audiobook, so you'll be getting an exclusive chapter reading uh, as the core of this episode. But what I wanted to do is give you a little bit of background and also tell you about my thyroid box that I have very lovingly curated uh, with some tools to help you on your thyroid journey. The box is designed to make you feel loved and hopeful and positive uh, because I know when you have a thyroid problem, it can be easy to feel a bit um, bit flat sometimes. So I just wanted this to be a really cool tool. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. So that's what we're covering in the episode today. A bit of background about the book, a bit of background about the box. I'm going to read you chapter one and I'm going to tell you how to get your hands on these goodies. So sit back, relax and um, yeah, I would love to know what you think uh, of the book and the box, particularly once you get it and um, you know, yeah, just really excited to be bringing these to you. So So why kiss and make up with your thyroid? Why did I write a book about thyroid health? Well, as you know, because you're listening to the Let's Talk Thyroid podcast, I'm very passionate health advocate about thyroid health. And the the idea for this book uh, came about uh, just over two years ago. I had previously written a book called What Annabelle Cooks, which came out of my blog that was that's called What Annabelle Cooks, and it was all sort of um, was basically a cookbook with uh, some information in there about general health and wellness and a bit about my thyroid story up to that point. And so I was at a conference and uh, two years ago, and just trying to really figure out my niche, I suppose, in the wellness space and being a little bit. Um, having a bit of imposter syndrome about, you know, really kind of stepping into the thyroid health space, although that was has always sat behind why I have been into health and wellness, just because that's my own story. And I'm doing, making these, you know, things as part of my lifestyle for my own thyroid health. And I love to just share and educate and empower, you know, people to you know, do their own uh, investigation and develop their own you know, I guess unique thyroid lifestyle. And so a friend of mine said, oh, you should do an updated um, cookbook with, you know, a bit more of a thyroid focus. And I thought, oh, okay, that's a good idea. I reckon I could do that. And so the idea came from there. Now, the book has taken a few twists and turns over the last couple of years. It's not a cookbook. Uh, I will, on my list of things to do, of which there's quite a lot, uh, updating what Annabelle Cooks is up there. I I will, uh, my plan is to do, I guess, a thyroid edition where I pull some of the recipes out, leave some of the more popular ones in, add in a few new ones. But that's a bigger project and probably not a project for 2022. Uh, So, but the idea was formed then. Oh, okay, I could write a book about, you know, um, the, you know, the food that is helpful for thyroid. And then I started thinking about, well, what about all the stress management things and my low tox lifestyle things and my essential oils and um, my, all the mindset and affirmations and all, all the all the other things that I knew that I was already doing and that work not just for me, but for many other people. And so the idea came from there. And that was beginning of 2020. So you can imagine all sorts of crazy things have happened the last couple of years. And that first year I had agreed with Lee that I wasn't going to take on any big new projects for six months. So whilst the idea was formulated then, uh, I, I then in that six months of uh, not taking on anything new, uh, I started coming up with the idea of the podcast. So that was when the podcast was born. I thought, oh, that's good because that way I can actually get um, – you know, some talk to some more people, get some more information, stories, you know, and I tie the book in with the podcast. So Let's Talk Thyroid began in June 2020. And the, this whole thyroid um, journey has, has kind of taken off from there. I started writing the book at the beginning of 2021. So that was last year's project was the writing it. I would come sit down, write. Uh, I, I, 
I had the idea of all the different th elements that I wanted in it. I predominantly want it wanted it to be positive, practical, give people hope, and and not so much be the why um, we need although there is bits of why, but a lot more of the how, like what's the practical things? How do you actually do these things? How do we make the changes? What, what, when you say go low tox, what do you actually mean by that? And so that's what this book has become. And look, originally I'd wanted every page to be bright and, you know, affirmations on every page. And, you know, I think um, I spoke to a book editor at one point and she said, oh, you just want like a party on every page. I'm like, yes, I want that. But unfortunately, printing in color, um, it just wasn't financially feasible. So I've, I think I've done a pretty good job of still conveying, or I hope I do, this is, I guess you'll be the judge, won't you? Uh, uh, that the book is still bright and positive. The cover is very bright. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll be able to see the cover. This is a a, a sample copy so it's got a big line through the middle of it but it got hot pink lips and thyroids in bright yellow like so it's a, it's very bright and then on the inside I'm going to try and hold this up to the camera uh, I know it's probably backwards but you know in amongst it there are images there's uh, there's affirmations there's some some good some activities so it's definitely a practical book I want you to be able to write in it, highlight in it, add color, add the color that I didn't print into the book. Uh, you can add that for yourself and really make it your own. So now, the, so I've spent 2021 writing the book. I've spent the last few months doing all the layout for the book. So <laughs> it's amazing what you can learn on YouTube. So I've uh, done all the layout, created all the images and uh, basically doing all that set out editing work and now it is currently at the printers <laughs> while I am talking uh, like literally right now I'm hoping it's being printed. I have decided so I'm based in Australia for those that <laughs> don't recognize the accent or don't know so I'm printing some locally uh, through the printer that I used for my cookbook uh, and so if you're in Australia at least at this point in time I'd really encourage you to buy the book through my website which is AnnabelleBateman.com. If you're overseas it's available on Amazon so you can uh, go to Amazon and order yourself a copy of the book. It will be available as an ebook on Amazon as well. So yeah, but if you if you are in Australia, if you can buy it through my website, I would really appreciate that. It's a little bit more profitable, uh, and you know I get to write you a little note and you know to send it off with a bit of extra love. Uh, but I'm really excited that it's available globally through Amazon. So that's really exciting. The other part that before I get into reading a chapter for you is I have curated what I'm calling my thyroid box. So I had this idea as I was at some point last year writing the book that what if I could create a box where people could keep all their thyroid health information but the box itself was really beautiful, it was classy, it was cheerful, it had some really practical tools in it that would help you you know help people on their thyroid journey but also make them feel a bit more encouraged and hopeful uh yeah and so I just had this idea about this thyroid box and so what I have done is I'm curating a limited number of boxes this is not going to be an ongoing offering this is really to tie in with the launch of the book and I think I can actually make it available internationally I'm not going to release that just yet. I'm doing a trial one to a friend in America. And if it gets there safely and well, then I will release it uh, to, the, um, to the markets where I can make the, the shipping feasible. Shipping from Australia is not cheap, but I think, um, it's sim I, I think I can make it available at least in the UK and the US. So if, you, if you're overseas outside of those countries, please send me an email and I will look into shipping. Uh, so stay tuned if you're overseas for the box but if you are in Australia uh, you can pre-order the box right now it's $124.95 including shipping uh, you can yeah, pre-order that from AnnabelleBateman.com forward slash shop 
it includes a copy of the book so you do not need to add the book on top of that unless of course you want to buy a copy for a friend uh, and at this point in time until it actually launches I actually don't want to tell you what's in the box because I want it to be a, su a surprise. I think you're going to love it. The, uh, I certainly love it. If it arrived in my mailbox, I'd be thrilled. There's there's some practical tools, but there's also, you know, some fun stuff, some girly stuff, some stuff just to make you feel good. So I'm going to leave it at that. You're going to have to trust me uh, that you're going to love it. And once it's all launched and people are sharing pictures of it all over social media, then I'll tell you what's in it. And I, I want to go, there's, there's strategy behind every item that's in, in the box. It really has been very deliberately curated, lovingly curated. To be honest, I'm a bit more excited about the box than the book, which I shouldn't be because the, the books, the book um, is, anyway, I'm excited about it all. So if that, that that's the thing that you can pre-order the book. Uh, via AnnabelleBateman.com. You can pre-order the box via AnnabelleBateman.com. If you're international, you can purchase the book from Amazon. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to purchase the box through me as well. You'll just have to stay tuned for that. And if you're really keen for that, if you are overseas and you're keen for the box, probably best to send me an email, uh, Annabelle at AnnabelleBateman.com, because then I'll know, get an idea of numbers for one thing. And for another, I can make sure that you definitely know, because I know the way algorithms work and even with emails, they can end up in spam. So I would hate you to miss out if you are really keen. So please send me an email, then I'll know to sp make sure I individually email you uh, about the box. Right, let's see. So we've covered the book, we've covered the box, we've covered how the book came about. All right, well, I'm going to launch into reading chapter one of my book because chapter one really sets the scene. And at this point in time, it's it's not available on audiobook. I, I, if there's a demand for that, I will definitely look into how to go about recording an audiobook. Uh, I'm a one woman show trying to figure all of this out, all the tech and the, you know, the writing, the sales, the marketing, the all the tech stuff I do myself. And you know, with the help of YouTube, I should add, <laughs> and many amazing people that provide helpful tutorials for free online. Uh, so audiobooks, you know, that can be on the list. But for now, we're going to have chapter one as an audiobook. So, uh, and then that will be the end of the podcast episode for this week. All right. Kiss and Make Up with Your Thyroid by Annabelle Bateman. Chapter one. Kiss and what? Hint, it's not just a cutesy title. At the end of 2015, my doctor prescribed for me a week at a health retreat. I'm serious. I know I have a fabulous doctor. I got the script in writing. I spoke to my husband, Lee. I'd chosen the resort I wanted to go to, which was this incredibly divine place in Thailand. My thyroid health at that point was still recovering from a silly decision I'd made the year before to take a weight loss drug. I'd just published my first book, What Annabelle Cooks, and I'd burnt myself out. I had discovered what a difference changing my diet had made, but I hadn't yet fully grasped the impact of stress, mindset, toxic load, and putting too much pressure on myself. Being prescribed hardcore relaxation made me realize that I had to take a serious look at managing my day-to-day -day stress. As much as a week in a health retreat would be amazing, I'd be right back to where I was when I got back if I didn't learn how to manage stress on a daily basis. What I've more fully grasped since then is that whilst I started my thyroid-friendly lifestyle with food, it couldn't end with food. There are significant aspects of my lifestyle that impact my health and yours too. I increasingly shifted my approach towards a wellness focus not just a weight loss approach. Having a brain lesion diagnosed really helped with that motivation too. I've learned how I think about my body, my health, and that thyroid has an impact. I've had to make peace with having a, long, a lifelong disease that requires ongoing management. I've been learning how to kiss and make up with my thyroid. I've come to a point where my whole approach to managing my health is two things. One, it's anti-inflammatory. 
Everything I do, say, think and eat is oriented around reducing inflammation. Autoimmune thyroid conditions, of which I've got Hashimoto's, are at core issues of inflammation. And two, a lifestyle. I have to be able to incorporate mindset, unwinding food, low toxing into my daily life for it to be sustainable in the long term. This is a lifelong disease and it needs a lifelong lifestyle approach to managing it. I never went on that health retreat. I decided to work on those daily attitudes and actions. I know, I know, I really should have done both. Maybe one day I'll get to that health retreat. It's time to kiss and make up with your thyroid. You are a complex, beautiful human being with gifts, talents, passions, dreams, desires and purpose. Your body is a complex web of cells, systems, muscle, energy, thoughts and hormones. Your thyroid as the master gland influences every cell of your body. So when things go wrong with your thyroid, it can feel like everything falls apart. It's easy to feel like it's all your thyroid's fault. It's easy to blame your thyroid for all your woes. Well, I certainly have. (laughs) And say to yourself, my thyroid hates me. Your thyroid doesn't hate you. It might feel like your thyroid has ruined your life from time to time and that somehow it hates you. It's not often just your thyroid, but it's easy to think that your thyroid wrecks everything. While the thyroid influences your whole body, like I said, every cell, it can sit behind much of why you feel less than optimal, but it doesn't hate you. It's flapping its little butterfly wings as hard as possible to try and support you as best it can. It needs your love and it needs nourishing. It requires you to relax and unwind. It's sensitive. It needs not to be exposed to toxic chemicals. It needs to feel safe. Your immune system does too. Your body needs you to make up with it. This whole idea of kiss and make up with a body part might might sound a bit silly, but what if you could love your thyroid back to health? What if a change of mindset, diet and lifestyle could support your thyroid health in conjunction with any medication prescribed by your health practitioner? Urban Dictionary defines the expression kiss and make up as making up with someone you've gotten into a fight with. Have you noticed that much of the language that's used around thyroid health is fight language? I'm battling with thyroid disease or I'm a hashtag thyroid warrior. What if you stopped fighting, stopped battling, stopped resisting and started reconciling, loving? Can you and your thyroid kiss and make up? Why I've written this book. When I was diagnosed with primary hypothyroidism at 22, I was told all I needed to do was to take a pill every day for the rest of my life and I'd be fine. So I did. Maybe I was fine. I was surviving though, not thriving. I've taken medication since I was diagnosed at 22, but I've also developed my own unique thyroid-friendly lifestyle. I've read broadly about thyroid health, sought professional support, worked with my integrative doctor for about the last 15 years. I've experimented, changed my diet, lifestyle, approach to stress. I've understood how my personality works with or against my thyroid health. And increasingly, I've learned to love my thyroid. I've made up with my thyroid and I'm currently feeling really fantastic. There is no magic happy thyroid formula, but you've got to start somewhere. This book is that somewhere. I'm not a doctor or a health professional. I'm a passionate thyroid health advocate, a very well-educated, well, I like to think so anyway, patient who likes to help other thyroid patients know that there is so much we can do to feel great. I want you to know that there is hope. I want to share what's worked for me and many, many others. If you want to dig into the science behind the different lifestyle factors I'll be sharing, please do your investigation and immerse yourself in the work of those experts that I mentioned in the resources part of the building a support team chapter. 
I've put this information in the first section of the book because I believe it's essential to understand why you're making these changes. And they do a better job at explaining the why. If you haven't discovered my Let's Talk Thyroid podcast yet, now is the time. Now, obviously, I know you have because you're listening to me read this chapter. (laughs) Uh, There is so much valuable information in each episode. I've drawn on many of the interviews on this podcast in the book. So if a quote or tip resonates, go listen to the episode it came from. It's an ever-developing resource. I want this book primarily to help you with the how and to do so in a bright, fun and hope-filled way. As you read this book, my desire is that it's a book you can come back to now and again. It's a springboard. You might tear out pages and pin them on the fridge or stick them on your vision board. You might scribble or highlight or colour in sections. You might skip whole chapters. That's okay. As you move along your thyroid journey and accept different things at different times, you might come back and think, okay, now I'm ready to try low-toxing my home or I've realised how important stress is and I need some ideas of things I can do to learn to unwind better. Dive into the chapters that resonate with where you are. You don't have to do it all at once. I'm hoping it's a resource for your life. There are thyroid diet books and 30-day thyroid reset plans. This is not that book. While I'm a big fan of 30-day programs and run them regularly, you can get lulled into thinking that after the 30 days are up, you can just go back to everything you were doing before. It's simply not true. A lifelong issue requires a lifelong approach. I share my story in the next chapter so you can get a feel for how having Hashimoto's has impacted me, how I've tried to manage my health, the ups and downs. This book isn't about me though. It's about you and your story. So feel free to skip the next chapter. I have discussed some of my experiences in the other chapters too. How to read this book. When you build a house, you have to get the foundations right before you add the pillars of support. The foundations section goes over the basics. One, thyroid basics, and two, building your support team. Then the lifestyle section covers the four core thyroid-friendly lifestyle factors or pillars. Each aspect covers both why it matters and how to do it. And we cover mindset, unwinding, food, and low-tox living. Lastly, you get to start to kiss and make up with your thyroid and build your unique thyroid lifestyle. Each chapter has a kiss section. Kiss standing for keep it super simple. At the end of each chapter with a couple of questions to think about or activities to do. Remember to give them a go. Use it like a workbook. Get out those highlighters. So let's kiss. Let's keep it super simple. Remember, you don't have to do it all or all at once. Have an open mind. If you want to investigate some of the ideas here online, do so. Please do. If something you read causes you to rise up with objections, that's okay. Sit with it. It can be helpful to ponder what is provoking you. Think about why you're having that reaction. Do more research on that topic or just leave it for now and move on to something else. Remember, there's no magic formula, no linear step-by-step process, no one-size-fits-all. Keep it super simple and take your next step to kiss and make up with your thyroid. I'm cheering you on. Love, Annabelle. I hope you enjoyed that first chapter reading uh, of let's of, um, Kiss and Make Up With Your Thyroid. If you want to grab your copy, please head to AnnabelleBateman.com where you will find the links to pre-purchase the the physical copies. I'm hoping will be sent out in the first week of April. And if you want to grab the box, it's the same deal with that. Any questions at all, always connect with me through my email, which is um, Annabelle at AnnabelleBateman.com. You can connect with me through the website or, of course, social media, Instagram and Facebook is at Annabelle.Bateman.Wellness. And you can, if you want to watch the episodes, uh, you can watch them on YouTube. Thanks, everyone. Have an awesome week and can't wait to get all this into your hot little hands. Bye.
Thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Talk Thyroid. I would love it if you enjoyed it, if you would hit subscribe and the bell, that would be really helpful. Uh, even more helpful actually would be to share it with someone else who you know has thyroid issues or you think would benefit from listening. That really is part of my mission, I suppose, is to spread the message of positive and practical approach to managing your thyroid health so that people really kind of have more energy to get on with living their life and not just some kind of trudging through each day. So spreading that word really genuinely helps um, other people feel better, live better, be better. Uh, the best way that you can connect with me is through my um, website, which is annabellebateman.com. From there, really, you'll be able to connect in all the other ways. I would love it if you would join my Facebook community group. Um, there's lots of uh, great support there. It's all free. Uh, that and that's you know just being with like-minded people uh, but from the website you can also book a strategy session with me so if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed not sure not too sure where to start then um, book a strategy session there's also freebies to download and links to look at my online courses or purchase some essential oils or or, one, or my cookbook so that's really the hub would be annabellebateman.com but look forward to connecting with you and um, yeah just being in this thyroid health journey together have a great day bye the information presented and discussed in this podcast is not intended to diagnose treat cure or prevent any disease and should not be used as a substitute for proper advice from a qualified professional